Hey, those of you who waited the few minutes until I got this up and running, man. I needed to do a couple things, make a few last second adjustments. It's all very serious. I have to get things calibrated, lights, flash, camera action. We just got back from the gym. It's the first time that me and Jax have been into the gym since we got back to Eugene for moving all the way from Daytona Beach. So that was kind of a big deal for me personally. Uh, you know, like I don't usually like to skip a single day in the gym, but things have just been so crazy hectic. Trev, what's up, man? Me and Jack send our love to you and Cass, man. We hope that y'all are doing good. It is so good to see you here. I appreciate you, man. Hey, any of you guys that don't know, Trev is one of our moderators and he keeps it mellow and chill here so we can do what we do. Same with my dude, Little True, man. That's the homeboy. That's one of our mods. And without them, man, we would have a bunch of rampant trolls. Like yesterday, I did a live uh, where I was just big country the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we had dudes in here just straight going weird, bro. Weird. Because I don't ever like, my, my mods know when I'm going to do my regularly scheduled Sunday night live. This time, every week on Sunday night. But every once in a while, I like to just jump. Like, I get a wild hair, bro. Like, I already have a hairy butt. But sometimes I get a wild hair up my ass. And I just jump in here and I just do something weird and random like yesterday. And uh, that, was, that was what happened. We had some people in here acting the fool. I actually blocked somebody. I did it all by my onesie. I blocked him. It was great. It was crazy. Um, he was just cold talking stuff like... Bro, if you have a problem with another creator, even if I'm friends with that person, you don't have to come on all my lives and do the same comment over and over and over again. I know some people are on like a war path for my home homegirl Jess, bro. That's cool, man. Go talk to her. I guarantee you, if you just call her, you guys can figure it out. And if you don't know her number, then you're probably not relevant enough in her life for her to take the time out, bro. And you're definitely not going to come in my live and spoil it for everybody else. So I hit the block on somebody. I just wanted to let everybody know that. I actually did it. I was very assertive, proud of myself, boundaries and whatnot. Hey, anyway, though, um, yo, Lauren just said, hey, she finally got to catch a live. She said, you're awesome, mainly because I watch Zero. That's fair. Uh, Boston Terriers are amazing, my friend, and Zero is a really good dog. Not, um, not yesterday, though. Yesterday, he attacked one of the chickens and uh, almost killed it, scared it half to death. Yes, that is a Firefly tattoo. I am a huge Last of Us fan. Um, now, I like all the Last of Us, like the entire franchise. Like, I liked the first game. I loved the second game. Like, both of them were, like, on an equal playing field to me. My son who's uh, Graves Delay on here, um, he goes hard on, on The Last of Us 2. He does not like it because they killed Joel. Uh, he does not like it because uh, they, they incorporated Abby and he didn't want to deal with that. Walter White, I just saw that, man. Walter said that I'm his favorite creator on YouTube. Brother, I appreciate that so much and I'm glad that you're a part of this community. Um, I also really liked the show, The Last of Us. I thought they did a really good job but, um, you know, he hates it all. So uh, we did a video about that the other day for his channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll always be a fan of The Last of Us. Ohio Trucker One, homeboy, it's good to see you here again. Hey, JD, I was in Eugene this morning, picked up a load of lumber. Next stop, Dodge City. Wish I could have bumped into you while I was out walking around. Homeboy, I wish we would have run into each other, bro. I got a big-ass bear hug when I see you, man. I only left the house for one thing today, and that was to hit the gym. Uh, do you play GTA 5? I don't play very many video games, not nearly as much as I'd like to. I think I'm going to start streaming. I think I'm going to start streaming some of the days that uh, some of the games that I play, so that I can just hang out with y'all and kick it while I play. Bro, that ASG shirt that you had on. Uh, one of your shorts the other day was fantastic. They're a great band. Actually, bro, ASG is not just a great band. They are great dudes, man. They're super cool people. I got to hang out with them in Florida, in Daytona, a couple different times when they came through to play. One of my good friends, Ben Artis, he's a guitar player that I was doing a music project with. Stuff never got released, but it was phenomenal in my opinion. Um, but he's really good friends with ASG, and we all kicked it. Like We partied till like 4 in the morning. This was before I was in recovery, of course. But yeah, I picked up those shirts at a couple different shows that I saw those. They're really good. Peanut asked if I've seen Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, man, I've absolutely seen Sons of Anarchy. Um, I don't know if I watched like the entire series. I think at one point it got so unrealistic that I just checked out. Like I tuned out. But like that first, the first season 
was fire. I, I really liked it up until, look, how long has it been? How long has it been since Sons of Anarchy came out? I'm going to do a spoiler right now if you haven't watched Sons of Anarchy. My favorite character, tune out if you don't want to hear this. My favorite character was Opie, bro. When they killed Opie in that jail cell, I was... I was pretty much done with that show at that point, bro. He was the only one on there who I was like, this is a solid ride or die, real representation of what this shit should be. And then they just took him out, bro. They took him out. You were how, too loud to tune out. How are you going to do that to my dude, man? Hey, hold on. I just seen uh, Drum 100X, man. Said I'm his favorite YouTube creator. Thank you so much, bro. Are you a drummer? Because I'm a drummer, man. That's why I got a drum set tattooed right here on my arm. It's hard to see. It's weird when it's twisted. But I've been playing drums since I was like 13 years old, and I absolutely love it, man. Opie was a real one, straight up to the end, man. He went out like a G, dog. He took it. He all the way took it. He was the best looking, too. I mean, that wasn't like why I really liked him, but I 100%, like, I'll say that. Hey, Friendly Neighborhood Communist says I'm his favorite YouTuber too. Man, I appreciate you guys. I love that you guys rock out and hang out with me. You guys are legitimately the best, bro. I feel so lucky to have this community and have all you people that hang out with me, kick it with me, ride out with me and everything. Like, thank you. Thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Um, so I know that like you guys probably saw that the name of this was Prison Story Time. Um, I'm going to talk with you guys for a little bit before we jump right into the story, man, because I want to give some other people time to catch up and jump in. And also, I just like talking with you guys and getting your comments and everything. I'm going to ask you guys all for a big favor. Please don't tune out. I need maybe 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Hold on. It's a lot harder to open your throat and let a whole protein shake go down than it is like a beer back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But I got that done. I think that was way under 15 seconds, wasn't it, Jax? Jax has no comment. She's not paying attention. Sorry, I was busy for a second. <laughs> You're good, baby. I love you. More interesting than anything on TV. Hey, look, man, like there are some like good shows. Like, I don't know, you guys, like I've been really into K-dramas lately. Me and Jax watch a lot of different K-dramas. Uh, stuff from Korea is lit, bro. Them dudes is savage. Savage with it. So um, I, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty up on that. But like a lot of the American TV just bums me out. Like it just bums me out. Apple 15 TV. seconds came and went. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Um, let's see. Hold on. I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm reading your comments. How much would it take for you to go back to jail for 30 days? <laughs> Bro, I might go back to jail for 30 days just to get my driver's license back after I already paid them a whole bunch of money, bro. Um, 30 days really ain't nothing, bro. I could do 30 days standing on my head. Uh, I could sleep standing on my head for 30 days in jail. That's really not much, but uh, if someone was going to pay me. So, like, look, you guys know the show 60 Days In? They offered me 60 grand to go in for 60 days. Um... And I would have done it, bro, if it wasn't for that snitching aspect. Like, I'm not going to go in there, pretend that I'm friends with people, gather information, and then give it to people who are going to put it on blast on Front Street, give it to the administration in the prison. Like, I can't be doing none of that, bro. That ain't me. It's not in me. I'm not b -b -b built like that. There's no b -b -b bit in my blood. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I definitely... Like I would have done, I would have done 60 days for 60 grand. I had to tell them to get on before they get on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sandivistian MK5. What's your favorite firearm? I'm not allowed to own firearms, unfortunately. And it's a sore point. It's, it's like a, it's, have you guys ever had a pimple and like a bad spot, like on your inner thigh or in between your butt cheeks, and every time you walk, it just rubs. That's how I feel about not having my Second Amendment rights, to be honest with you. And up until I got into recovery, and I started living legally, and I turned my life around, I had no problem at all whatsoever carrying firearms, same as I would drive with no license. It wasn't until I turned my life around that I stopped carrying guns, and I stopped driving without a license. So that's been a little over four years now. Um, but man, like... I know it's not like the best firearm out there, but like just out of what I've had personally, bro, I had this subcompact 
uh, a Springfield Armory subcompact 9 milli that was sweet, bro. And it's not the best gun out there, but to me, I loved that thing. I loved that thing so much. Unfortunately, I had to get rid of it because the doings transpired and I no longer wanted to take the risk of possibly getting caught with it. But like, yo, I loved that thing, man. Um, Beer Man Inc. Much love, JD. Been sober 12 years and seeing your vids reinforce my belief that I'm doing the right thing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're saving lives. Beer Man, check it out, bro. You've been sober for 12 years, homeboy. 12 years. I'm just following in your footsteps. You blazed this trail, dog, and made it easier for all of the rest of us who are following you, man. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm proud of you. The fact that seeing what I'm doing makes you feel reaffirmed in what you're doing, bro, that's such a blessing and an honor to me because you are doing it harder than I am, bro. Hell yeah. 12 years is amazing, my dog. Um, I wanted to address something, you guys. This is pretty serious for me because uh, I haven't seen the cat in here in a good minute and i just see that the cat is here and i wanted to say man cat we love you and we're glad that you're here thank you so much for being here she's one of our mods and uh it's always a blessing when she swings in you are so loved here sister we so appreciate you um caleb asked me what my favorite band is whoo pro a favorite band, that's a really, really hard one for me. Uh, Cause I like a lot of different types of music, man. Like I like everything from metal to punk to like, I grew up in the grunge era in the Pacific Northwest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, you know, like I'm really, really into uh, like lately I've been listening to a lot of the plot and you and their new song. Uh, what's it called? Um, I don't even remember what their new song's called, bro. The Plot and News new song is so fire. It's so insane. And uh, the singer, the vocalist, just rocks my world, bro, because he has such a huge range. Bro, Brandon. Brandon Hinkle just said Mud Honey. I want to tell you a story about Mud Honey, bro. Back in the day, they played at the EMU here in Eugene, Oregon, and me and my homies went, and I got to meet the singer from Mud Honey and hang out with them dudes. And we were all ripping off of graphics, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to get too graphic about the graphics on here because then they're going to be like, oh, he's talking about the bit of Anyway, I may have had some fun with some fungus that night. We met the, the whole band and the singer told us, like me and my friends, we're teenagers. He said, hey, kids, drop out of school. Drop out of school as soon as you possibly can. It's the best advice that I could give you in life is to drop out of school. It's all BS and they're just brainwashing you. And I was like... Damn. And that influenced me in the future. Uh, <laughs> Mud Honey was a great band. Someone else said Nirvana. I saw Nirvana at the Salem Armory. They were killer, bro. I was supposed to see him again uh, on Lollapalooza, and Kurt ended up doing what Kurt did, and they switched out with Smashing Pumpkins. And Smashing Pumpkins played after the Beastie Boys, which was crazy to me, because the Beastie Boys came out, and they were like the biggest vibe out there. And then Smashing Pumpkins came out, and they're like, and everybody was like, like, and I liked some of the stuff that Smashing Pumpkins put out. I'm not hating on them. What I am saying is that uh, it was not the, the band to follow the Beastie Boys, bro. They had the entire crowd bumping. I watched my dad crowd surf to the Beastie Boys. I had this little thing smoking in my hand. I had to put it down, bro, because my pops went crowd surfing by. So Smashing Pumpkins almost got booed off stage. And uh, they said, well, since everybody's booing, we're going to play all mellow songs tonight. And I was like, all right, cool, run it. Put, play Mayonnaise, play Soma. It was actually a really good show, but it was a weird combination to put them after the Beastie Boys. Hey, I want to address this, man. My homeboy Rock Irish is in here. This is Rock916, just checking in real quick. Rock, I love you, homeboy. It's good to see another Mick in here, brother. Thank you so much for swinging by. I appreciate you, dude. Like, honestly, you are an inspiration to me. You are another one of those people who has pioneered what I'm doing and us being from the same place, if you know what I'm saying. It's really good to see you here, homeboy, and it's good to see how far you've come in life, man, and I respect the hell out of you, dog. Thank you so much. JD's nuts. Keep up the good work. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. So, um, we had... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I want to address this because somebody gave me one of these super comments and uh, I, I appreciate the hell out of those. I don't know if y'all know how much that means to me because we're just a struggling little outfit out here trying to build a house, trying to live a life and everything. So these super comments, 
They mean a lot, bro. They go a long way and they mean a lot. My good friend Zach Ryan said, glad to have you back in Oregon, brother. Welcome home. Wish I, uh, wish I could catch more lives, but your vids stay up, brother. Hey, Zach, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. I 100% love you, dog. And it's so good to be back home in Oregon. What part of Oregon you live in, Zach? Because I get around like a record or some other thing that goes around. Like I'm kind of like an untethered ball, bro. Uh, so thank you again. And I hope I run into you, bro. If I run into you, bro, you better come say hi. You better come either get a high five or a bear hug or a dap up rock. I appreciate you, man. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Jason Dixon, huge fan, bro. Jarhead and 25 year old or 25 year Leo. Hey, Jason, I don't do fans, homie. I I'm just a normal ass dude, bro. So we can be friends or we can be families, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you're comfortable with. But I don't do the fan thing. I thank you so much. I really appreciate you saying that, man. Um, and thank you for your service, bro. Uh, I'm glad that you're here. And I'm glad that you vibe with what I do, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are Leos who want to see people win. Who want to see people come out the other side and stop doing the scumbag stuff, bro. So I have the utmost respect for you, dog. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you, man. And again, thank you for your service to this country, big dog. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Jake! Jake Williams is here, my dog. Uh, Jake said, what's good, brother? Missed your last Sunday Night Live, but I'm here tonight. 162 days clean today. Hope you're doing well, bro. Stay up. Hey, man, I'm doing really well. 162 days is absolutely amazing, bro. You coming up on that six months, bro. You almost hit that 180, big dog. I'm watching over here just cheering, bro. Cheering for you. Oh, so AZ, new sub here. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the community, homeboy. Uh... I know you're new here, so let me break it down to you how this goes real quick, man. A lot of people have YouTube channels. I don't, bro. This is a community. This is just about, it's about you guys just as much as it's about me or anything that I bring to the table in the lives is where we really get to support each other, love each other, be positive, uplift each other, educate each other. So I'm really glad that you're here and you made it to the live, homeboy, because this is one of my favorite parts of it. Hey, intellectual iconoclasm, what's up, dog? How you doing, man? Uh, I did get your email. I've read it. Um, I didn't have time to respond, bro. I'm going to get back to you. We're going to figure out some way that I can support you because I 100% believe in what you're doing, man. Uh, you said that uh, you, don't even, you don't think we're just on the same page, but we're on the same paragraph and the same sentence. 100%, dog. You nailed that out. 1,000%. Um, yo, my boy Trev said, smash that like like it's a chobo. My dog. Get it. Ooh. Ooh. Um... Tenebrisol, 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 Tenebrisol. If I'm guessing your main name up, bro, I appreciate it. Love you, brother. Sorry I don't have more, bro, bro. You don't need to come with all that, bro. You don't need to come with all that. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're a part of the community. We love you, dog. You are welcome here. Thank you so much for the support. It means the whole world, man. I'm just happy that you're here hanging out with us, dog. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being a part of, of what we're building here. Nerd Hero 169, dealing with Chomo drama. Any suggestions on dealing? Thank you, JD. Um, brother, first off, thank you for the support. Thank you for being here. Uh, that's very vague. That's very, very vague. My advice to people is to get them into prison. Whatever you have to do, get their ass in prison so the homeboys can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Don't put yourself in prison. You send them there. There's plenty of people who can get them. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, my my advice to you is to get their ass in prison, bro. Ain't no such thing as snitching on a chomo or someone who's hurting kids or hurting women, bro. You handle that by any means necessary. You got my support and my respect on it all day, every day, bro. That's what we do. We, we protect women and children in here. Brandon Hinkle, keep on keeping on, JD. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the love and support, and I'm glad that you're here. Big love to you, big dog. Um, you got my name pretty much correct. Yo, that's like a first, big dog. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me know, man. I really feel bad when I don't know how to pronounce people's names, bro, but I'm really, really bad at it. I don't mean to brag, but I'm like really bad at it. Uh, 
Arena Rabinovich. Arena Rabinovich, I think that's pretty close. Thank you so much. I love the dancing pair. I appreciate it. Sometimes I feel like a dancing pair. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but at least he's got the cool headband. Hey, I love you. Thank you for the love and support. Much love to you. Uh, Zach Ryan lived in Springfield and Eugene when you were around back in the day. I worked at Phil's Clubhouse and the Nile as a doorman, but now in Lapine. Zach, bro, do I know you? I know a few Zachs, bro. Hey, thank you so much for being here. Big love and respect to you, homie. Um, I wish that I could put a face with the name, man, because I probably knew you. If you worked at Phil's and you worked at the Nile, I probably knew you, bro. I was in and out of there, but like, bro, I was in a bad way. I was probably pretty drunk if I was going in and out of there. So, hey, man, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. All right. Do you play Red Dead 2? I don't, but you know what? My kid, Graves, Graves Delay does, and he does uh, Twitch, and he's going to be streaming on here on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel, Graves Delay, um, and he plays Red Dead Redemption 2. I never got into that game as much. I like zombie games, bro. I'm a sucker for some zombie games, like for real. Um, original owner 777, love from the UK, and I know how hard it is for others. 24 years clean. My boy got 24 years clean. Hell yeah, dog. And I just want to say that is a beautiful kitty that you have in your profile picture, brother. Thank you for being here. Big love and respect to you. Jason Goodman. What's up, JD? What's up, Jason? How you doing, homeboy? It's good to see you here, man. Uh, Jason Dixon. I come from a long line of cons. All my people except for me. Uh, fan of what you have done, and I support what you're doing. This is important. Jason, thank you, man. I appreciate it. So growing up in a situation where your family all went in one direction and you took it clean the other direction, bro, that's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so proud of my kid because he's not following in the footsteps of all the dumb stuff that I got myself into. And every day I'm thankful that he was able to learn from watching me make mistakes, bro, and seeing all the wreckage and the damage and the chaos and he's such a stand-up dude, bro. And so, like, being able to have the strength and intelligence to be able to learn from other people's mistakes and break out of something like that is absolutely beautiful, man. I love you. Andrew Ward, homie. What a bless, dog. Thank you so much, bro. Hey, brother. I love your content. Keep smashing it. Thank you, my man. I really appreciate it. Big love and respect to you. And I see it looks like you just got, like, a new half sleeve in your profile picture. That looks sick, dog. Congrats, man. That looks like some solid ass work, homeboy. Appreciate you. Big love and respect to you, my man. Ohio Trucker, what's your favorite type of car? Detroit Muscle Till I Die, bro. Like them old, them old Detroit Muscle cars are sick to death, bro. Sick to death. Like, and they'll they'll never make cars like that ever again. They will never make cars like that ever again, bro. Uh, all these cars these days are made out of like fiberglass, like uh, exteriors and everything. And uh, they're basically built these days. Cars are built to quit on you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get a couple good years out of them or whatever, except like Toyotas. Toyotas will last forever. So like I'm working on getting my own, uh, getting my own driver's license back and buying a car here soon. And like, I'm looking heavily at Toyotas because bro, I see Toyotas on the road. They're like 30 years old and still going strong. You know what I'm saying? Like no other car you can really say that about. Uh, you know, there's some old ass Hondas on the road that are still going, but like I was kind of looking at like a Toyota truck. Uh, I kind of think it would be really cool to have a nice Toyota truck. Um, but like, honestly, bro, I would be really grateful just to have a point A to point B, bro. 1000%. Um, I see my boy Rock Irish, my homeboy. Uh, big homie, uh, at original owner, seven, 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 two dozen calendars. That's outstanding. Keep up that UK recovery. Hell yeah, man. This is what I'm talking about. You guys, this is the community where we all get on here and we congratulate each other. We celebrate each other's wins. When somebody's not doing good, we try to lift them up and try to find a solution or support or love for them so that we can build them back up. You know what I'm saying? That's what this is about. Yo, rock. Stab, 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 stab. That's my dog, bro. Hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see. My baby boy toes. Love you, brother. 
since sober since 2009 from H. Dog, that's a huge accomplishment, homeboy. Yo, look, like, I've dabbled in those, in, in, in the piats, you know what I'm saying? Those big O piats. I've dabbled in them before, uh, and they never really caught me, dog. Like, I've, I've gotten to the point where I had withdrawals a few times, and I was like, I am not trying to do this. I'm not trying to feel like this. One time, a doctor had me on, uh, you know, pain management for a long time. When I came off, bro, I was so miserable. I'm like, nah, not doing that. Not doing that again. Hell no, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nothing really ever grabbed me except that, like, high-speed chicken feed, bro. That whoop chicken, that go fast, that Tina, uh, you know, that, that cream is what got me, bro. Um, and it was really hard to get off of that. But, like, I know that it's a different level when you're on either, like, benzos or opiates, bro. That's just... It's so difficult. So I applaud you, man. That's beautiful. Keep up the good work, man. Trev knows. Trev just said it. Smooth. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate you. Like Smooth said, if y'all want to blast that like button, it would be much appreciated. Thank you, and I love you. Um, yo, somebody just brought up Beetlejuice. Are they making a Beetlejuice sequel? I heard that they were making a Beetlejuice sequel, and I was really stoked to hear that. Uh, that's been one of my favorite movies for, like, the longest and if they came out with another one and didn't, like, finger blast my childhood like Michael Bay does with everything, that would be cool. But if they're going to finger blast it, bro, like, they could just leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, why did Michael Bay decide to ruin all of our childhood stuff, bro? Like, he's going to ruin Transformers. How are you going to ruin Transformers, bro? He going to ruin uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro. How are you going to... How do you screw up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You have the whole recipe in the name. They're teenagers, they're mutants, they're ninjas, and they're turtles, bro. He came out with this... <laughs> Tyler. Yo, yeah, he finger-blasted our childhood, bro. He diddled it, bro. It's all bad. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how are you going to go out and make him into these, like, mature, weird, sociopathic... Like, ugh. His, I watched, like, a few minutes of his Ninja Turtle movie, and I was like, no... No, that's not good. I'm not doing this. They're making a Beetlejuice uh, 2 in the original house. It was only like two or three hours south of VT all the way. Yo, I'm kind of stoked. Your trip in Transformers was not ruined. Look, man, everybody has different things that they're looking for and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, I didn't want all the polished, super overdone, um, CGI type stuff. Like I just didn't like it. And I don't like the way he puts Megan Fox in literally everything, bro. Literally everything. His movies are just so over to the top with the CGI that it doesn't seem real to me. You know what I'm saying? But then again, that's just me and everybody has different opinions and that's, what's beautiful. That's why we're stronger together as a community because we can all like different things and we can all bring our knowledge and our different, like, whatevers, you know what I'm saying? Our different kinks, bro. Some of us might like to be called a, you know, a sloppy old prison bitch during it. Some of us might like to, you know, get choke slammed. And, you know, some of us might like to wear their socks while they're doing it. And that's okay. We don't kink shame around here. Oh, man. Hold up. Jonathan Greers. Love your stuff, mate. I have a problem. A guy was trying to goat me into a fight the other night at the bar and called me a chomo like six times and heaps of other stuff. I'm not a violent person and would lose a fight. Look, man, here's the thing. Here's what I've learned. Here's the conclusion that I've come to. Take it for what it is. It may fit. It may not. Um, the second that somebody goads me into a fight, I feel like I've already lost the fight at this point in time. If I can't resolve things in an amicable way verbally with somebody then I will walk away and if they don't give me the option to walk away they put a hand on me you know what I'm saying they block my entrance that's something different if I have to if I have to defend somebody else that's something all the way different you know what I'm saying but uh you know I don't like to make let anybody force me into a situation where I'm fighting bro fighting loses freedom like, I don't know how it is where you're at here in the States, bro, especially the state that I'm in, uh, in, in the state of Oregon, there's no mutual combat. There's no self-defense laws. If I have to fight somebody, I might go to prison. 
Like, dead ass, bro. Because I'll tell you one thing. A lot of these dudes who want to try to start fights, bro, they still got 911 on speed dial. They'll clock you first and still call 911 when you put their ass in the hospital, bro. So I try to avoid fighting, man. Um, sometimes it's not avoidable. But, like, bro, if somebody's calling you something, I don't let words manipulate or dictate my behaviors. And you don't have to either, bro. I would just let it go so you don't end up in one of these places. It's not fun, bro. I promise. Um, hold on one second, Jax. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Would you bring me my phone charger? Because I'm at like 10%. And I don't want my phone to die on a live. I've done that before. It was really not cool. Um, bro must be giving up. Bro, I don't know what... Bro, don't give me no vibes. I don't know, bro. Here's the thing. is like lately, it seems like the hip thing to do if you don't get along with somebody. One side will call you a Nazi. The other side will call you a chomo, bro. And like it's so... Like it disarms the actual value of calling out somebody who victimizes kids. Like it really takes away from those of us that are actual survivors and those of us... Uh, those people who actually need to be called out. Could you bring me that brown? Like, it really is disrespectful on so many different levels, bro. Like, here's the thing. In prison, if you call somebody that and you don't got paperwork, you better get ready to fight, bro. Because it's it's an instant on sight, bro. Like, you're going to get smashed, bro. You don't be putting uh, jackets on people in prison unless you've got some paperwork or some real serious substantiated evidence, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that just doesn't happen. It don't fly. Uh, out here on the streets, any type of dude will say any type of thing because a lot of people aren't used to getting punched right in their whole shit, bro. Uh, so it just, it doesn't make sense to me to meet some random dude at a bar and just start calling him that. I'm not, nah, bro, nah. But I, I definitely wouldn't give him the type of energy that he was looking for because he was probably looking for a fight, dog. And whether you won or lost, on one end... You lose the fight. On the other end of the spectrum, he probably a baby back bitch who's going to call 911 and press some charges, bro. I've seen it happen so many different times, dog. People will lose a fight and they get sucked up and their ego gets involved. Next thing you know, even though they started it, they're on the phone all, oh, officer. It happens. I've seen it. I've seen dudes in prison for it. Uh, Disney is ruining movies for me, bro. Some of these... Uh, <laughs> Some of these like real action movies, like these, whatever Disney's doing, like, I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. And it's not, I don't care what color the, they make people or whatever. Like, I just like, I liked the old cartoons, bro. There was an innocence to it. There was like a certain level of uh, magic to it that they're not getting in these new movies, bro. And yes, I think again, it is finger blasting our childhood. The reboots are garbage. Trev said it right there. Trev knows what's up. They're finger blasting our childhood. It ain't no good, bro. Anytime the terms finger blasting and child or childhood or any type of youngin is involved, bro, you know they're doing it bad, bro. Uh, so, you know, I'm not I'm not into what Disney's doing these days either, bro. Like, keep coming up with some ideas, you lazy bastards. Come up with some new good cartoons. I mean, hell, up right off the top, bro. Uh, here you go, Disney. Um, make a cartoon about an AI princess that comes along because AI is that new big thing. Thank you. Y'all owe me some money. Not that they pay in their writers anything anyway, skeevy bastards. But, you know, is what it is. Um, so, look, man, are you guys hip to what's going on right now uh, with... <laughs> What's going on right now with the whole writer strike and the actor strike, bro? Next year, these studios are screwing up, bro. Next year, there's not going to be nothing new coming out except for K-dramas, which I'm into anyway, and anime and cartoons, bro. They ain't got writers and they ain't got actors right now. It's going to be a lot of AI-generated cartoons, for sure. Did you guys see that there was a dude who set up a whole AI system just to make South Park episodes. And that when they came out, they looked and sounded and were funny, like real South Park episodes, bro. They got an AI system set up just to make Eps of South Park. And I couldn't be more here for it, bro, because I could, I could watch South Park on an indefinite basis. If they just came out with like a channel that was just nonstop South Park, bro, I, 
Honestly, I wouldn't get nothing done. I'd be sitting there the whole damn time, bro. Like, South Park is one of the most amazing cartoons to ever hit, bro. While we're talking about cartoons, um, let's talk about something. Because in prison, you can watch cartoons, bro. There's cartoons you can watch. Sean Blue just said American Dad. Yeah, you can be watching that and people aren't going to think you sus. Simpsons, you can watch that and people ain't going to be thinking you sus. Uh, you know, some South Park uh, uh, family guy, like all those types of things, Rick and Morty, Futurama, homie, big ups. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you watching kitty shows, bro, if you like on some, like, uh, uh, you know, blues clues or uh, Dora, the Explorer, SpongeBob type shit, bro. And prison, you're instantly going to be on the sus radar, homie. And you might get smashed out for it, bro. Somebody might, yeah, like, yeah, no, don't be watching My Little Pony in prison, dog. I promise you it's going to end badly for you, 1,000%. But there are chomos who will sit there if they can get, like, the TV room when nobody else is in there. They'll, like, creep in there, and you'll be like, oh, where is your remote? I really want to watch some Blue's Clues. You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes will do it until you run them off, bro. They always get run off, especially the second that you find out that they watching cartoons, bro, they get run off. Seeing them do anything has anything to do with chitlins, bro, in there in prison, it really, really boils our blood, right? But they always try it, bro. They always be trying it. Um, but I was talking to, you guys know who the Alaskan Avenger is, right? I have huge news about Jason and his case, and I've got a full length that I'm probably going to be dropping tomorrow about what's going on with that. So I don't really want to spoil it on a live um, but look, Jason was telling me that during the pandemic, uh, he was in prison, a full grown men's maximum security prison. He's in Goose Creek Corrections in the state of Alaska. And during the, the pandemic, they were telling everybody because of COVID that they had to wash their hands before they did this, before they did that. And they were telling him that what they had to do was they had to wash their hands, uh, for the full duration, like a certain amount of time. And they said, uh, just... Wash your hands the full duration of uh, the Baby Shark Doot to Do song. Sing it in your head. To a bunch of grown-ass men, bro. A bunch of grown folk, a lot of whom have been locked up for decades. How the hell do you expect these grown-ass men to know what Baby Shark Doot to Do is, bro? That shit just came out a few years ago. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and he was, like, asking me. He's like, hey, I've been wondering this, and I haven't asked anybody but, like, I figured I'd ask you, what the hell is Baby Shark Dude to do? I'm like, bro, that's some little baby kid shit, bro. And he told me why he was asking. I about lost my mind, bro. It was wild as hell to me. Um, but I can't wait till we can get, like, Jay out here and on some podcasts, bro. On some episodes. On some lives with us, bro. It's going to be so cool. You guys have no idea how in tune this man is with his recovery, uh, with this new way of life that he's found with the healing that he's done on himself and the work that he's put in, bro. Like, I mean, he's still the same hammer swinging chomo hating dude, but like he has found peace within himself and he's going to help so many people, bro. He is such a fire dude. He called me like three times yesterday and it was a good ass time. Yo, burner 420. What's up, burn? How you doing homeboy? It's good to see you in here, man. Big love and respect to you. You guys, if you ain't following Burner, Burner420, man, he's a killer dude. He's one of my homies, man. He's on here. He's a prison creator. Uh, he did a bunch of time in Utah prisons, bro. So if you want to know anything about Utah prisons, that's the go-to, man. That's the dude. Burner is a good-ass dude, man. Y'all should go give him a follow on here. Uh, yeah, Trev, Burner420, and that's facts. Um, okay, he's been after this. He really wants to come say hi. You guys, this is my friend Zero, and uh, he's got on a harness that's a little bit too big for him today, but he just wanted to come and say what's up. He loves y'all. Hi, buddy. Oh, your breath is amazing. <clears throat> but we love you. We love you so much. You're a good boy. He is a Boston terrorist. Uh, terrier, terrorist. I, I was right the first time. He's a terrorist. This is the one who almost killed a chicken yesterday. This little ass dude, man. I love you, buddy. We're going to put you down. Your tongue smells really bad. I need to brush his tongue and teeth, bro. I'm like, I'm not being a really good puppy dad. I need to brush him up. 
I have a toothbrush for him already. Jax, you have the toothbrush? Yeah, I just need help holding him down. Let's brush him. Let's get bit. <laughs> Yo, Roy, BGN, what's up, man? Uh, hey, JD, just wanted to show support for what you're doing. Gotta say I was surprised the first time I heard they have TV in U.S. prisons. Uh, here, all you can watch is concrete and funny charge guy stabbings. Yeah, bro. Hey, man. Uh, I really appreciate you, Roy. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being here. Um, so, like, there's some prisons that have TVs. There's some prisons that don't have TVs. Like, OSP, you can buy TVs. Like, for, like, 300 bucks, you can get a 7-inch TV that's just a tiny bit bigger than my iPhone. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's $300. Um, and you can set it up in your cell. But they ain't got, like, TV rooms or anything like that. Um, you know, but there's other institutions where they'll have a little TV room or if you have a day room or whatever, you don't got no day room at no penitentiary dog. You know what I'm saying? If you can't afford to buy one of them little ass TVs, you staring at pavement or stabbing somebody for the fun of it. And that's just what it is, bro. Uh, it's like being in the hole, but you get to go to yard sometimes. So, you know, Sean blue, I see you dog. These white monsters, you already know what time it is with me. Right. You can, 8132. Happy birthday, homeboy. Big love and respect to you, man. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, dog. Um, Bojangles said, JD, hope all is well with you and your family. Shout out from Southern Oregon. Shout out from Eugene, homeboy. Is it as hot down there as it is here today, bro? We are heavy sweating. It's wild today, bro. I think that I'm actually going to take a day off from all activities tomorrow, all work, not going to work on the, uh, not going to work on the outside or the, the house, not going to work recovery coaching Ain't got nothing set up. Probably won't be doing a lot of content, just a little bit. Uh, and I think that me and Jax are going to go float the river because it's going to be 105, 105 here. Irish Rose, much love to you and to all of Ireland, man. Big respect. Ohio, tr Ohio, Ohio trucker, monster or Nas? Bro, I only do these monsters, bro. 100%. No disrespect to Nas or anybody who's a Nas person. I'm just into the monsters and only this one. This is the one that I'm into. The the, the white monsters. It's uh, white ultra or zero ultra. And it's supposed to be pineapple flavored. And that's, that's out of respect for the misses. Because you know what they say about drinking pineapple juice. That it, is not pineapple juice. But it makes your it makes your your man seed taste better. Not the white monster, sweetie. Actual pineapple juice, which you do not drink. I love you though. But so this doesn't make my man seed taste better. I'm not answering that question on the internet. She's not answering that question on the internet. Uh so yeah, I'm a big fan of those white monsters. Um, I drink them a lot. Hey, my homeboy Toby, man. Uh yeah, Toby. Those monsters are the best. Toby asked if I was wearing the hat today. I absolutely am wearing the hat today. And you guys, I know a lot of you asked and a lot of you went and checked and the hat was not available, but the hat is back up, bro, uh, on convictclothing.net. We have everything in right now. And in fact, we even got tank tops that go uh, with this. And I don't know if they're in a bundle right now or not, but we got tank tops that match this. Um... They're black tank tops. They're not like all red. I can't wear that much red. So we, we made them in black. Uh, we also have the t-shirts that match it. So if you guys want to check out convictclothing.net, we got a lot of different uh, shirts and hats and stuff. Norwegian Ants, I believe we do ship worldwide. Yes, sir. Mango makes the man chowder taste better too, reportedly. Well, I eat a lot of mango. Like, honestly, that's my favorite fruit. That and pineapple. So, I, you know, I, I'll be doing good. Toby just said, hell yeah. I always rep the hat everywhere I go. I'm going to have to get the tank top. Toby, thank you so much, bro. I'm so honored to have you repping the brand, dog. I'm glad to have you repping Convict Clothing with me, dog. Appreciate you, man. Big love and respect to you, big dog. Well, you guys, I love you, but it is like 105, if not more, in this, uh, in this room right now because I had to turn the AC off. Because it would have been too loud. Because we got just a window unit right now. So I'm going to go. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for rocking out with me another Sunday. As always, man, this community means the world to me. Y'all be good, man. One love. Be good or be good at it. I'll see you on the next one, you guys. Big love and respect.